hello friends welcome back to my channel and this time i am back with a new tutorial series wherein we will learn how to create an advanced rest api using node.js express and mongodb okay so this is the final version that you see here on the screen and uh, we will be using postman in order to query our uh, a API endpoints okay and this API has got many cool features like sorting pagination then uh, uh, you can select what fields you need and it, ha it has also got uh, route protection like you cannot uh, access the protected routes without authenticating yourself and you need to have some sort of roles in order to do some modification such as deletion or change in in some particular defined routes okay for example on the screen here uh, i'm accessing one of the endpoints that gives us gives me the list of products it's a get get endpoint so it is open for all so you hit send and you get a response from the backend database and as you can see that i get a success flag which is uh, true or false i get the total number of uh, count in the result which is eight the pagination is blank because right now i'm on the first page uh, in the data property i get my array of products in each product i have a category attribute that that points to the respective category the product belongs to okay the various categories so it can have one or more categories here and this has been populated using uh, mongoose populate function so we'll see how we can use nested populates so we have other properties like on sale sale price title price main image etc and this is the second product okay now let's say if i want to do some modifications to some uh, categories right let me just show you here i change it to get and i hit send so i'll get all the categories and this is the count i have four categories and let's say if i want to change something here and i the id here of a particular category and change it to from get to let's say delete and i hit send it says error not authorized to access this code because this is a protected route similarly if you want to update anything in the category you need to get authenticated and it should be authorized okay so it's protected now here we have orders okay so in the products route it was only one level of uh, populate okay we were only populating category here but if you see orders orders is linked to a particular product that you that you purchased and the user properties who who, who made the order okay so uh, let me show you here okay so this is these are my two order i have two orders sample orders okay in the data so this is my first order and this is the second order if i for the first order you can see the page is set to true and under the items you will you will find the products that you ordered okay and again each product has got categories and all those fields okay on sale and every every, every other field that you saw in the first get request and this uh, product data is being fetched using the populate function and and then also we have users properties here so who made the order so it's it was john doe who placed this order right and we will see how we can populate multiple uh, attributes uh, at the same time and also how to use nesting in populate to populate the category data as well otherwise if i if you don't use the set populate so you will see only the ids here of the categories in an array all right so here let's let me go back to the products uh, route so if i put a question mark and if i see i want to sort it with title okay so you see the first product here is uh, playstation okay starts with the, the, the letter p 
and next I have Xbox. Okay, so I have only two products which I copied and uh, pasted with different ID values. Okay, so now you see my first product starts with PlayStation, but if I put a sort here and uh, put a negative in front of it, so that will simply uh, make it in descending order. So if I hit send, you see this changes to Xbox One, all right. And if I remove the uh, minus sign, hit send again, it changes to PlayStation. So now let's say if I want only the title and the price, okay. So I can chain with the ampersand symbol. And you select equals to uh, whatever you want. You want title, comma price send there you go you have the title and the price and uh, this id category will always be shown okay no matter what so you see we only have the title and price and then uh, you can you can go to the next page in case if you have more than uh, 10 20 products you can go to page number two Okay, so right now I have no products here. I have only eight products in total. So page two is empty. So I hit page one. I'll go to the first page like this. And also I can use another uh, query here for the limit. So I, I only want two products. So now you see the count has reduced to two. I can limit it to one also. So only one product. Not sure if zero will work or not. No, so minimum one should be there. Okay, so we will, and now you see we have this pagination populated. So if I go to page two, I get the second product, and my next page and the previous page gets populated like this. So we'll see how we can create all this uh, in our entire series, and this is going to be a long one. So Please bear with me and pack up your bags. Let's get started. And this is going to be a fun uh, series, I promise. So with this, I'm going to end this video now. And in the next video, we'll discuss the prerequisites and we will continue from there. So till then, stay tuned. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.